Welcome to the Missouri Escape Pod. I've been working all winter on this crazy thing and uh, it's just a, just a nice little way to have everything ready to roll uh, Friday evening. Just pack it up, hitch, hitch it to the back of the truck and go and you're ready for just about anything. Let me give you a little tour of the place. So the, the Missouri Escape Pod is, is about storage and, and usability, so it's uh, nice and comfortable. Uh, I've got uh, 12 volt lighting running through the whole thing, plus power supplies so I can charge cell phones and such. Um, this is basically the galley. We got one container here, food. No, that one's food. This is kind of spices and then tools, so utensils, plates, that type of thing. Got our French press to make coffee with. A Couple of pots and pans handy. Barbecue tools, barbecue, water, and just about everything you need. And then when you're ready to do some cooking, this little table comes out or you could maybe mix a cocktail on there and just set her up and you're ready to cook. More, a little more storage down here. Got a onboard battery charger. So when you're, when you're parked someplace like at a campgrounds and you can just plug it in and you never run out of power to the, the lighting system and such. Oh, uh, yeah, everything we need. Come around to the side and we'll show you the, the sleeping quarters. So if you're just driving down the road and you pull off and you want to sleep, get in the pod and sleep. You can sleep pretty quick. If you're going to set up for a couple days, I designed these awnings to uh, give you a little more shade and a little more shelter from the rain. Basically, I took... Uh, uh, tent poles, I uh, bought replacement tent poles and uh, made an arch out of that and then had some special attachments made for another tent pole arch in between the roof rack things and it sets up pretty quickly and easily. I've been getting working the bugs out of it trying to figure out how it, it can uh, be easy to set up and, and uh, tear down. Ah, uh, inside we've got storage and our sleeping compartment. Alrighty, this is a little space. It's about six foot three, six foot four in length. Uh, and it is 52 inches inside. But it's pretty simple. The, the uh, bed is supported by these removable supports. And they fold up real nice and and they're also 100% support once they are in place. And uh, so really quickly and easily, we get the bed rolls out and we put the supports in. We take, the, take this bed roll and Boom. Then lay out your bed rolls and your sleeping bag and get toasty. Plus in the summer, we have some fans. We've got a regular fan on rainy days. We can have a little bit of uh, entertainment, watch a movie on the weekend. Uh, you betcha. Books, you gotta have, you gotta have how to stay alive in the woods. This is a must read. And then our other, our, our other reference book, Camping and Woodcraft, published 1906 by, by Horace Kephart. All the information you need right there. Got another little fan and, and heater that'll, that'll uh, heat us up a little bit gives a little bit of warmth if it's not too cold. 
But basically, that's it. Sets up quick and easy. We can have it loaded up with stuff. So hitch it up on Friday evening and hit the road. Ah, uh, this is another uh, crazy design uh, feature. I got the bike rack here with the Volt bike, electric bike. Uh, spare tire, outboard motor, trolling motor. That's built on a uh, steel rack that was specially designed and built by local welder, Mark Bryson. And he did a real good job on that. Got, uh, so that's ready to go. And then can store my flat back canoe on the roof rack or it goes on my truck, either one. But basically, ready, ready for adventure. These are the little racks that attach to the top that allow me to put the uh, tent poles in. Mark Bryson, LNH Welding, Macon, Missouri. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs>